Here we are with the two interfaces. So you'll see here on the left that you have the desktop app for Windows. That's what I use. Uh, it should look pretty similar uh, regardless of where you're at. One thing you'll notice that's kind of neat, uh, and I don't have time to really go through uh, kind of the, the larger planners. I've done separate videos on these before. But I added just while I was waiting on everything to sync, I added to see if it would work with the MDO, which is the My Daily Organizer uh, planner that Voya at My Deep Guide puts out, and the Get It Done planner that JB over at Morning Coach puts out. And it appears that it does. The only thing, the only area of concern I would have there, and I'm going to test this really quick. And, and it is taking me to the page, but I'm not sure if it's taking me to the page because it was the last page I was on or if it is taking me to the page because it's actually linked to that page. Uh, it's hard to tell. And I think part of that is just, and let's look over here on this one as well. So it did seem to take me to the page. The only concern with some of these to-dos is I'm not sure if it remembers the actual page it's on or if it remembers the notebook. So it would be worth some more testing uh, to see how that works. And you'll see this is a live screen shared view of my super note on the screen here on the right. And let's go ahead and just double check with my deep or with my daily organizer here and see what that looks like. And yeah, it took me here and you'll see reference check for bill is right here. And the only thing in the app that really that's missing that I really wish they had uh, was the calendar view. And I think that that's coming. It's just not here yet. But the whole point is you can do all of these things and I'll reach out to, to JB at Morning Coach and to Voya and see, I'll mention them in the description, but I'll also reach out and see if they want to test their planners. They know them far better than I do, but the ability of the Supernote to import PDFs, hyperlinked PDFs into the template engine and then allow those links to still be live, I could really see this being useful because you could add these to the to-do list in the Supernote and then add them as a calendar event and that would sync with your Google Calendar. So that's really, really interesting to be able to think about how you could mix kind of that analog digital paper replacement. It's just very, very, high. it's just something that, that really intrigues me. But they know their planners better than I do, and I don't want to speak for them. Maybe it's a video for another time or a discussion for another time, but it's it's something that I'm really interested in. So let's go ahead and look through the other ones we had been talking about. And again, we'll click on uh, tasks with subtasks here, and we'll also do that on the super note. And you'll see tasks with subtasks. They came right up. We'll go to new page here and we'll go to new page here. And of course, all of that is there. Now, the advantage to the screen mirroring, obviously, is you can still do new things. And it works really well. Now, you can't do that, at least in the Supernote app yet. You can't do that. You can't do any editing here. You can import PDFs. You can add things that way. Um, you can see your different pages. You can't add pages at this point, but it gives you that flexibility. And then, of course, you can export if you want to. Uh, you can see the table of contents. So if we go to the table of contents, you'll see here uh, that they mirror one another. You can also go to your keywords. And if you see here, you have your keywords. It's it's amazing really what they've done with this uh, technology and for a device that does so many things well it's it's really cool uh, i do wish that it had 
the the calendar, but I'm I'm not complaining. I think what they've managed to to pull off here is is really good. And of course, you know, you could check these off here. You can move them. You can change the date. You can delete. You can do all of that just by right clicking on any of these tasks. What's really cool is being able to click through just like you can on the super node, but you could be more productive or you could move faster by doing it this way as well. And you know, that's a little bit different because you don't have those back arrows. So that's nice that I'm doing this because I can see kind of some of the navigation challenges. So for here, when we go to task one, there's no back arrow. We can go to the task, but if you've hyperlinked it this way, you can do it. So again, the table of contents is way more useful in the desktop app, and I would assume the mobile app, because of the fact that you can navigate to different pages really quickly. What you don't want to do is accidentally hit this back button if you're not ready to do so. And you'll see over here with the tasks and subtasks, I get, and you'll see my little highlighter down here at the bottom, you'll see those back arrows that allow me to go back. And then if I hit this button here at the top, it'll take me back to the, the full on task list. So the navigation is a little bit different but it has so much of the same functionality and I just, I, I can't say enough <laughs> good about it. Uh, but remember, you do need to start from the device to plan this out. You can't add a task and then link it to a notebook. You have to link it from the notebook to the to-do list. So that's a very important thing to remember.